Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Wildlands Best Stealth Weapons. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at my personal favorite, the Honey Badger. I picked this up as soon as it went into the store. I didn't get it for free, uh, but I did, uh, I did purchase it. So this is my current setup on how I run it for stealth. That's my play style. That's how I've always played. So we'll, uh, we'll go through each piece and I'll, uh, I'll talk about the weapon a little bit. So, uh, you can run it with the, uh, the folded buttstock, but my personal favorite is the extended. It makes it look better, adds that little bit of accuracy versus handling. Normally, I run the iron sights. Uh, this is how I run it 90% of the time, but I have been using the uh, panoramic sight here. It adds just that little extra bit of accuracy versus kind of evening out the accuracy versus handling with the iron sights. Then we have the full auto uh, versus semi, or full auto and semi, sorry. Uh, it's the only trigger that you have. Now I run the standard. Um, you can put on a 30 or a 50 round. I know a lot of people like that feature about the Honey Badger, but for stealth, you really don't need that many bullets in a magazine, and the standard 20 round looks really, really nice into the weapon. Big part of uh, weapons for me is, you know, aesthetic as well as functionality. Uh, the only really viable option, the shift short angle grip. Then you could go for the three laser dot, but I like the option of having the night vision um, or the laser uh, visible in night vision. So I use the uh, laser sight. But the three dot does add extra uh, to both accuracy and handling. The only, um, the only barrel is the standard barrel, so you can't really change that which in my opinion, if it was a longer barrel, it just wouldn't look good. The weapon looks really nice having the short barrel or shorter barrel. And then the only one that you can have is the suppressor for your muzzle, uh, which a lot of people complain about, but I like that feature, the integrated suppressor into the Honey Badger. It's why I enjoy using the weapon quite a bit. Uh, so damage and penetration on this weapon seem low on the stats here, but they're actually more comparable to like the SR635, I think is the weapon. Um, I've hit targets at 200, 250 meters um, with one shot behind like the metal barriers. Um, accuracy is almost maxed out with uh, the setup that we have going here. Handling is decent. Range isn't too bad. Like I said, you can get 200, 250 easy. Rate of fire is a little lower than other SMGs, but I enjoy the slower rate of fire. I can control the weapon a little bit better, uh, get different groups off. So noise reduction is maxed. And like I said, penetration seems a little low, but it's actually higher, I think. But yeah, this is my favorite weapon. I, as soon as I could, I bought it and I haven't looked back. So I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy it, leave a like and take care. Bye-bye.